return of income because it's what is going to cash out and, and ain't going to get caught. So go Hey everyone, peace and greetings. Peace, peace, peace and love everyone. Welcome to the call tonight. I'm super excited uh, that you all are here tonight. We're going to get this party started here in just a second, you guys. We're going to uh, give the team some time to get on. While we wait, can we please go ahead, come on mute, put our name, and uh, let us know what city, state, or dimension you are on right now. <laughs> hello, hello. Bless you, Fairville, North Carolina. Let's go. Sunshine. Sunshine, Fairville. <laughs> Bless you. This is Jennifer Bless from St. Louis. Louis. Let's go, St. Louis Bill. I'm coming down there on the 23rd to the 27th. It's going down. Yay! Yes, ma'am. I got my tickets. It's official. All right, all right, all right. Welcome to the call. Go ahead and state your name. Let us know where you are at. Nico, Atlanta, Georgia. Go, Nico. Shout out to Nico. He's our newest trader. Uh, literally got started about yesterday. Came out to the amazing, uh, you know, Super Saturday. So shout out to Nico. Y'all show Nico some love. Drop some seven seven sevens in the chat bar. We're gonna be getting started here in about one minute. Please reach out to your team. I'm definitely not gonna start this call until we have about 15 people on here, you guys. So go ahead, come off mute, just put your name and let us know where you're calling from. If you're just coming on the line, go ahead, state your name, let us know where you're calling from. It's Monique from Douglasville. Let's go, let's go. Peace and love. Put peace, peace, peace. Shout out to another one of our uh, newest traders. She came out to the Super Saturday. It was so uh, such a pleasure to um, get to meet you and link up with the team. So definitely shout out to uh, shout out to the Landis, uh squad. If you're just getting in, go ahead, state your name. Let us know where you are tuning in from. <laughs> <laughs> anybody, anybody who's going to be started here in just a second, as long as we get about three more people in here. So go ahead, state your name, let us know where you're calling from. Demo, Atlanta. Let's go, Demo, shout out to you coming out to the, uh, coming out to the, um, the Super Saturday, man, it was definitely a pleasure, you know, seeing your face out there. All right, you guys, we'll go ahead and dive in. I'm glad we got the numbers up. So, um, you guys, we do this call every Sunday. Um, the Atlanta squad, they went on and, and put it in their planner. If you don't, uh, let me turn this down real quick. You definitely want to put this in your uh, your planner so it goes off like an alarm on your phone reminding you that the call is here today. Why do we do this call? We do this call to get our minds um, and our spirits and our bodies, you know, ready for the week, ready for what we call a new week, ready for Monday. Um, and also just to recap, you know, what we have done uh, over the week. So uh, as you guys may know, some of you uh, may not because you're new, but we're doing a, uh, some people are going live trading right now. Um, and I kind of wanted to open it up in just a second here on just hearing, you know, some of your experiences, um, you know, with the going live. I know last week I traded four times 
and I won three of them, won, uh, uh, lost one. But the one I lost, it was because it hit my stop loss and still made the move. So I still had a very uh, great successful um, week. So I'm going to definitely take your um, – I want to hear what happened to you. But before we do that, I want to switch it up a little bit uh, today. I know sometimes I start the, uh, you know, the call out with a little bit of, uh, you know, motivation or something. And today I just kind of want to open it up with, a little bit of meditation, just a little bit to clear our mind. It's been so much crazy stuff probably happening today. And uh, I just really want your guys' uh, undivided attention. And when you're clearing your mind and you're learning how to meditate, it really calms you down when you're feeling stressed out or if you're feeling anxious or if you're feeling, like, angry. Just to be able to be like, oh, hold on, let me do some eyes. Just to be able to just... Have that mute couple people. What up, Tony? All right, I'm going to mute Tony. All right, I think we are muted. Uh, please, y'all, we about to do this little quick presentation. So if you're on here, let me see Tony. Let me mute the line, Tony, real quick. Yep. All right. All right, y'all. So what we're going to kind of do really quick is, I mean, if you're driving, definitely, I definitely don't want you to do this. But if you're somewhere where you could just close your eyes for a little bit. And um, what I want you guys to do is we're just going to actually take some meditative breaths. And I'm going to actually play something in the back. Right. And this is what I'm playing. I'm going to share my screen so y'all can see what I'm, what I'm actually playing. This is what I listen to whenever I want to, like, clear my mind. Right. When I have a lot of chatter, a lot of people say, hey, it's, it's hard for me to concentrate. So when I'm thinking about my goals, I'm thinking about the wealth and the prosperity and the money I want to, you know, attract in my life. I got to stay in the frequency of money. Right. So sometimes I just let this play in the background as I work. So what we're going to do is you probably not going to hear it too much. But all I want us to do is just take three conscious breaths. And how that's going to look is you're going to get real comfortable. I'm going to describe it to you, then we're going to play it back. The only thing I want you to do is to be able to take one deep inhale, very, very, like, fill those lungs up. And I want you to hold it until I tell you to exhale. And then when you exhale, you're going to exhale on the side, right? And we're just going to do that three times just to really open up everything, right? So... Everybody ready? Come off mute. Let me know if y'all ready for this. Y'all ready for this? For something a little different? Ready. 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 Amazing, amazing. So, all right, get back in your comfortable spot. All right, take a deep inhale. I want you to hold that there. Hold it. Continue to hold. Continue to hold. Exhale with a sigh. Ah, another deep inhale, deep inhale, hold it, continue to hold, continue to hold, exhale with a sigh, ah, another deep inhale, hold it, continue to hold, continue to hold, Exhale with a sigh. Just relax for a little bit. See how your body feels. See how your mind feels. Let's take a moment real quick. Slowly begin to bring yourself back to your awareness. If your eyes was closed, you know, starting to wiggle your toes and move your head and everything. And I just wanted to kind of start to call off with just a, a piece of, like a peace of mind. Cause I know sometimes we got a lot of things going on and I want you guys to be able to take this practice with you when quote unquote times get rough or you're feeling anxious or, you know, whatever it may be that's taking you off of your vibe. This helps me get back into my vibe by just taking a moment and taking three conscious breaths so i hope that helped you guys if that helped you guys i want you to drop uh five 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 in the chat bar five 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 in the chat bar all right you guys 
let's go ahead and dive into it. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Like them to the chat bar up, you guys. Um, let's go ahead and get to it. Um, let me talk about this weekend, you guys, real quick. This weekend down in the Atlanta squad, we had a uh, Super Saturday. And for us, Super Saturday is basically we're coming together over some great food um, and, and knowledge and, you know, success stories and sharing a vision. And I recommend, if, let me see, I recommend if you are in an area where there's other traders, connect with them. I know Jen and um, Jay Boss is going to be connecting with Gabe. So, you know, definitely get social connect. But I want to kind of open up the floor right now before we get into the trading aspect and just hear, um, you know, some of the things that you learned from the Super Saturday event if you came out and some of the nuggets that you can bring back to the team uh, since they won't, they weren't able to join us, but you're still be able to give them some nuggets. So I'm going to put the phone on mute. I definitely want to hear from somebody who was at the Super Saturday and let us know your takeaway and uh, what nuggets helped you. Hello, hello, hello. This is Katrina. So Super Saturday was definitely lit. It's always a good time to get around like-minded people and just recharge. But one of the things that I took away that I'm still going to go back and review again is the trailing stop and try to incorporate that in my trading this week. Wow. That trailing stop did hit. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for sharing and thank you for being there. Anyone else? Hi, this is Denver. I was there and what I got away from that is how to get go on the 50 minute to check the break retest. Ah, yeah, that hit that was like that aha moment. <laughs> amazing, amazing. That's gonna make uh um, Oh, and you reminded me how to use the alarms on um trading view. Yes, trading view and the cell phone, yep. Amazing, amazing. Anybody else? I just want to say, and if y'all weren't there, you definitely should have been if you're in Atlanta. So definitely don't miss the next event. We got Peace and Pip Thursday. And then following uh, Tuesday, we got uh, our Taco Tuesday. So guys, please, please, please. And I, I say it again, please plug in. And it's not to beg you, but it's to impress upon you that events change lives and it doesn't have to be a convention just us getting together fellowshipping going over things asking questions implementing strategies because when we went over the trail stop like we actually did a visual example of trail stop like to where a, a third grader could understand it <laughs> like it was fun it was interactive and everybody enjoyed it and even the people that just got started shout out to them monique shout out to nico they jumped up there, jumped off the cliff, built their wings on the way down. And I'm talking about right after they did that, their confidence level shot through the roof. And they were smiling, uh, excited. You felt their energy. But right before, they were looking confused. They were taking in a lot of information, feeling lost. But immediately after they touched it and saw how simple it was, and then they had confidence to see that what they were learning that they were actually retaining it because <laughs> they need much coaching. So yeah, guys, get to it. Let's go, Tony Tone at 70 party. Let's go, trader. <laughs> Yo, thank you so much. <laughs> <Let's get it. laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. Amazing, amazing. Any anyone else before we move on that wants to give their testimony or anything that impacted them this Saturday. If you wasn't there, was there anything that happened over the week uh, that really stuck out to you or impacted you that you want to share uh, with the community that you feel like be beneficial? Hey, uh, I want to say something. Yes, peace, peace. Hey, how's it going? Um, I'm just coming in for work, so that's why I'm a little, a little bit tarry. <laughs> yeah, but how's everybody doing this evening? We're doing them. How y'all feeling? 
amazing. That's great. Awesome, awesome. Awesome uh, song. Hey. <laughs> well, uh, like like I said, I, I did wanna I did wanna um say say just say a little bit of something, um, especially with the last week. Um and you know, just being able to engage with the G twelve community. Uh, first thing I just gotta say thank you all. Uh and thank Miss I thank Miss Isis for reaching out to me because um, you know. I was pretty lost, you know, I was in, I was still in, you know, IML, but I was in various groups and, you know, not really sure where my place were, you know, where my place was, but she reached back out to me, she found me and uh, she brought me back into where I was supposed to be at and uh, I've been thankful ever since. And um, now, unfortunately, I didn't get, I didn't get a close out at 200 like I, like I had planned to do. <laughs> But uh, I'm still close. I'm still in that race, and uh, we're still gonna go for that goal. But I just thank you guys for you know keeping the group and engaging, and um, you know uh, allowing me, you know allowing me to be a part of the community. So um, that's really really just want to send my gratitude, um, you know, my gratitude to the whole G12 uh, community. But uh, that's all I got. Let's go! Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yes, no traitor left behind. I was like, what? You're a part of G12? Let me let me get you right. So definitely, you guys. <laughs> this is definitely community vibe. Shout out to you. Like, so did you take $20? You're taking $20 to $200? Uh, I'm, 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 I was there, and then a couple of trades kind of went south. So I'm I'm right back at like one seventy six. So I'm still not far from it. I just wasn't able to, uh, you know, close out on it uh, towards Friday. Got but we still in this race, though. Yeah, that's still amazing, though, man. I mean, you gotta think about it. You grew that money, like that is amazing so i want you guys to know like think about how powerful that is if you're worried about you know having you know some money or anything just just trade us a, a smaller bit make a little small goal take a small amount of money and grow it like now he's going to be able to go get anything he wants with that money he's about to pull out so i'm super excited about you guys' success a lot, a lot of shout outs, a lot, a lot of shout outs, shout outs to Clarissa uh, for always showing up. Oh my gosh, always showing up, asking questions, stepping up, showing her leadership skills, you know, coming up, speaking up for the community, teaching on Wednesday, our community about the harmonic scanner. I mean, oh my gosh, like shout out to Clarissa. Shout out to David for always showing up to the cause, always showing up, you know, um, um, uh, and trading also. Uh, shout out to his mentor, Miss Love uh, Key, for being out here with me on the road. Shout out to Denver. Shout out to Jay Boss down there holding it down to uh, St. Louis. And definitely shout out, uh, shout out to D, I'll call him D, for coming out, you know, coming out, spending that time with us in um, – Super Saturday. Shout out to Jen. Jen is definitely in it. I'm so super excited about, you know, seeing her this week. Shout out to Marcus. Marcus has been showing up on the calls, you guys. He has a crazy work schedule. He's not letting it get on it, get in his way. And he's creating generational wealth with Miss Sunshine. So definitely shout out to Sunshine. She's like a wizard on the charts, you guys. I don't know if you guys have been seeing her results, but man, the strategy that she's using, she's definitely killing it. Shout out to my man, Zach, for always showing up for the community, always willing to help, helping us learn how to trade, you know, showing his leadership skills to help us step up out our comfort zones. Like, shout out to all of you guys. Like, shout out to Mo for coming out. It was her first time. She was a new trader. She asked questions. She was very transparent. We just really got to open up. Shout out to Tony uh, for always showing up with his leadership skills with Trina. They always bring the vibe. They always bring the energy. I love the questions that they bring and the leadership skills. Shout out to Ray for always asking questions because that's what makes him a master trader. Always willing to help. Always willing to uh, hop on the, um, a Zoom call. 
Uh, shout out to Teron for coming back in the G12, you know, family, being coachable. Shout out to everybody on this call. If I did not call you out, I didn't mean any harm. I just wanted to take a moment to recognize all of you on this call to let you know that I see you doing the work and I hope you see yourself in the progress and how far you guys have came. So definitely take a moment to recognize uh, how far you have came, you guys. So um, um, what I kind of want to do is just really add, do some questions and answers on this, uh, on tonight's, um, before we hop into trading. We're going to do the trading at the last part. But it's something that Zach sent me that's very powerful. Like, Zach is always on the grind, finding, uh, not on the grind, but on, in God mode, always uh, finding nuggets and things like, you know, like studying and finding things like it's just amazing the information he brings back so i want to i want to i want to share something with you guys right so if you succeed in this business i want you guys to know it's going to it's going to be you that creates the success not me not none of it whoever brought you into this is not their job to create your success so if you fail in this business it's going to be that you created that failure not me not anybody that brought you into this, right? Um, you're going to be the uh, you're going to be the difference between success and failure. Think about that, because we have the systems, we have the calls, we have the support system, we have the harmonic scanner. We literally have everything laid out on a gold platter for y'all to be successful. So I'm here to guide you guys every step of the way, but I cannot do it for you. I'm here to work with you guys, but not, but not for you guys. Like we're all here to come together as community. You know, that's part of the G12 culture is really community, uh, community economics and generational wealth and not just in the pockets, but in the mindset. Right. So, um, you know, my job is to help you guys become independent, independent, you know, from me as quick as possible. Do you guys agree that that's like a good good goal for you just to learn how to be like independent, not really needing that much help? Absolutely. Yes. Definitely. Yeah, that's the goal. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. I agree. Okay. So check. But the leadership is the leadership is great. Let's let's not step aside from that. The leadership is there, and the team is growing. And you know what? A lot of peace and love out there to everybody, because that's that's what it's about. It, like you, you say, Isis, it is an individual goal that we set for ourselves to achieve what we achieve. And the mindset, there's a lot of stuff put out here for mindset. So uh, much love on that. Let's go, David. Thank you so much for that uh, reminder um, of that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so, um, <clears throat> So, so I got something for all of you guys. You too, David. So there will be, there's going to certainly be ups and downs, you guys, as you build this. Let me tell you. Let me tell you what's going to be happening in this. This is life. It's happening to everybody, right? People are going to disappoint you. You're going to be in relationships. It may be rocky days. It may be breakups. You know, it may be illness in the family. It's going to be things that comes up no matter what your pockets look like. Right, no matter what your 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 pockets look like, but guess what? There there's gonna be good and bad times. That's just how life works. But I know when you're in one of those bad times when your aunt calling me, or when you're not showing up for the meetings, or you're not on the calls, you know. So it's up to all of us to keep each other accountable, and I really like that. I really like that we already do that as a community we'll call each other out like look like what's going on <laughs> so i think that's so powerful because i i, I wouldn't want to have community or friends around me that didn't tell me the truth you know they just tried to sugarcoat it and, and make it look cute but no tell me what's real so if we start to see people that was always active you know saying you know good morning and just being very active and then they kind of dwindle off we want to be able to reach out to them and bring them back to their goals right so if we start hearing excuses and all those kind of things 
when that happens with any one of you guys, right? How do you want us to handle it? How do you want me to handle it? How do you want the community to handle it when when you're kind of like, let's just say I call it in a slump, when you're kind of just kind of kind of feeling down and you kind of withdraw. I kind of want to hear from some people. I heard uh, from some people over the weekend on Super Saturday, but I just kind of want to open it up and I want to know how can we be there for you? Like, so basically, do you want us to, so these are some things I want you to think about. Do you want us to like leave you alone? Or do you want us to be persistent and remind you why you made this decision in the first place? So you type of person, when something happens, you just want to be left alone. You don't want nobody to reach out to you. Or do you want somebody to reach out to you persistently, maybe daily, to get you back on track? I'm going to put the phone on mute and please let me know. Well, this sunshine, I'm going to need all of y'all. So we want you to, you want us to blow you up on the phone, call you? Yes, please. <laughs> Amazing. So y'all heard that. Now y'all know Sunshine's been super active. She's definitely always showing up. So y'all start to see Miss Sunshine kind of fall back. Please blow her inbox up and let her remind her of her power because we're all powerful. So remind her of her power, remind her of her strength and how she can get through this. So thank you so much. Anybody else? I would like y'all to be persistent and always participating. Don't let me be the only one asking questions. You need to ask questions as well. Because me, I go through a lot of unnecessary drama. And so I be down half the time. So I'm gonna need, Y'all just, you know, be a little persistent and, you know, keep the vibe up. Check on me. Let's go. We got you, Ray. We definitely want to check on you and definitely continue to pump your brain with positive affirmations, motivational speaks, uh, audio books, whatever you can get your hands on. But we're definitely going to be persistent. Anybody else want to share? This this is Jennifer. Just you know, if you see me fall off. Just somebody just yell, <laughs> send me a message or something. But yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> Amazing! Thank you so much, Jen. I love it. I love it. I just been seeing you blossom so much, and it's such a beautiful thing. So definitely, we're gonna definitely hit you up, and we're gonna be very persistent. Anybody else? Hey, uh, this is Teron. Um, yes, I would prefer, uh, you know, we, we check up on each other. Uh, me specifically, I guess I want to say all the time, uh, maybe like on a weekly basis, because, you know, things can change, you know, within 24 hours and 48 hours. So I'll say maybe a good solid week that would, uh, that would definitely help out. But I mean, if all of us fell, I would definitely, um, reach out to y'all if I, you know, if I really feel like I need somebody to vent to or talk to. Amazing. So you want us through, you said if you, if you said, if, now start all over, I'm trying to make sure I'm clear up on the first part you said. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got you. I was saying, I was saying yes, check on me. Maybe not so, I guess, as persistent because, you know, you. Cause then, you know, cause things, things can change on a day-to-day -day basis. So I'll say, you know, if I'm, for example, like, you know, just go a, a whole week, maybe without saying anything, uh, definitely, definitely check on me. Yeah. Um, but, um, if all this fails, I'll more than likely, I will probably reach out to y'all before I even let y'all get to me. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. So y'all remember what Terrell said, you guys. Y'all remember that. Y'all see his name pop up in the chat. Thank you for sharing. Anybody else want to share? No doubt. No doubt. No problem. I can share. It's Clarissa. Hey. And if I ain't being loud, then usually I'm being insecure. So just hit me with like something 
anything. I think Love Key is the best about this. Um, <laughs> some kind of like positive something and I'll check back in. But I, it's usually out of insecurity if I'm quiet and I would like you to reach out, but not like in a harsh way, not like, what are you doing? Like, not like that. <laughs> mm, got you. So like your love language is like positive words and affirmations. Absolutely. Yeah, see, I'm getting to know y'all love language. That's how we got to get to y'all. <laughs> Family's got to know that. <laughs> yes, you do. You do. Y'all need to lead, y'all need to read the uh, four love languages. I think that's what it's called. The five love languages. Five. Huh? Yeah. I've heard, I've heard that book before. Yeah, it's five love languages. Yeah, yeah, that might help a lot of people out their relationships too if you get to learn with your. Uh, partners love languages but okay Clarissa we're gonna sing loving words of affirmations anybody else want to share all righty you guys all right you can always share with us later um if you want to share later so um really quick before we hop into trading and wrap this call up and get ready for Chad's call you know, I definitely want to hit you um, with some words of wisdom from the uh, David, I said David, Reverend Ike uh, book that I have. It's called Health, Joy, and Prosperity for You, A Science of Living. It's definitely a powerful book. Um, but I want to ask you guys something. Uh, who is the most important person in your life? Somebody let me know who's the most important person in your life. Me. Let's go. Who else? Anybody? Anybody yeah. else? I second that. So. Amazing. Amazing. It's, it's no trick question, right? It says, think about it carefully. So it says, too many people have been brought up to believe that they are not important. That they should put themselves last. And he says, I hear somebody say the other day, I'm third, God is first, other people are second, and I am third. This is what the author is saying. He said, but I disagree with that. Who is the most important person in your life? You are the most important person in your life. So it says, uh, put yourself first. Now that might sound egotistical, right? But when I say to you that you are number one, when I say that you are the most important person in your life, I don't mean that other people are not important. I don't mean that you shouldn't have lots of good friends. I mean that what you think of yourself determines what other people think of you. It says, you have to learn to treat yourself right before you can treat others right and before others will even treat you right. You have to believe that you're number one, right? So think about this right now, right? And you're probably like, well, what does this have to do with trade and ISIS? What does that have to do with what? It has a lot to do with trading because if your mindset is, um, if your mindset is, is not there yet um, when it comes to self-love, then you're going to be hard on yourself during this journey. So you want to make sure that you're loving yourself, especially if you want other people to treat you right. You know, so that's what it's basically reminding you. It said, be your, be your own best friend. So it says, I'm going to read one more part that I feel like really hit, hit home. Um, let me see where it was. Oh, here it goes. Okay. Um, last part. Some people don't know how to be good to themselves. Some of you don't even enjoy good times that you have alone. A lot of people don't like to be alone, you guys. You have to ask yourself, why you don't want to be alone with you? Nobody can do you like you, right? So it says some of you even have furniture that you think is too good for you to sit on. So you save it for when the good, when the company come over, they can sit on the couch, right? It says, well, honey, you are your own best company. Some of you have good linen and silverware packed away in the trunks and you're saving it till, a, till, the, till the preacher comes over for dinner, right? 
You think it's good enough for the preacher, but it ain't good enough for you. So you ain't going to pull out the good plates until your friends come over, right? Or you, you like, I ain't going to put this good outfit on to later. Shouldn't you want to always dress good? Shouldn't you always want to be good, right? So because the more you enjoy the good you have, the more good will enjoy you. Right, so I just kind of wanted to share that little nugget right there from the book on the importance of putting you first and loving you first because we have been taught to put other people before us. We're literally deplete ourselves to do stuff for other people. We've been taught that it's been wrong to put ourselves first, but I want you to put yourself first because at the end of the day, this is your life. You know, yes, you're a mother. Yes, you're a father. Yes, you're a husband. Yes, you're a wife. And all these other titles, right? But at the same time, you can't be all of those things if your cup is depleted. If you're just constantly doing for others, doing for others, you guys, it can make you feel drained out. So definitely take some time to put yourself first, love yourself down, whatever you, you know, you've been wanting to buy, but you've been putting it out off. It doesn't have to be super expensive. Go do it. If you've been wanting a massage, go out, you know, let your body down, you know, uh, this week I took like a reflexology and like a deep tissue massage, like from all this torn, my body was like, please give it to me. So, um, I want you guys just to think about that. So let's get into some trading, right? Let's go ahead and close this out with some trading. I hope that, you know, sparks something in you guys. I definitely will take a picture of the book and this page just in case you want to go into the chapter. It's not long. It's two pages. Um, but I, anybody want to share their experience with going live if you did go live uh, last week? I went live last week. What's going on? Um, it's not what I expected at all. I, I maybe it's me, and you know, I've been having like a little slight disappointment with it because, like, I, when I was driving the demo, I was like making little money there, there, there. I finally got to where I can make money. Now it's just everything's come to a slow, you know, crawl. I don't know if it's me or whatever, or do I need to keep working on the strategy or whatnot, but I'm going to figure something out. Got you, got you. So can you kind of elaborate on what you mean? You said you was, you was, is it, oh, it sounds like, is it because you have to do one trade? How many trades are you doing live? Hello? I, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah, I said, how many trades were you doing live? Well, just, I was following just one pair. I didn't even be able to do too many trades because that one pair wasn't ready to trade for like a couple of days. It was USD, JPY. Ah. Uh, so I kept asking me, like, hey, do I... Yeah, so like this week, I'm just going to like, hey, if I can't get in, I'm going to get in go yeah i think you yeah i think maybe i think maybe you may be thinking a little too hard on it the whole what how the how it works is like so with the with the price trap you could put price trap on whatever pair you want to put it on when the break retest trade happens it happens but the whole purpose of people picking one pair you could do it all in one you can set it up how you want to set it up on um, various different charts. But in the meantime, you still can pick one pair to study. What does it look like to study a pair, Isis? What it looks like to study the pair is to get on the chart, go back in time, look at it, find all the support and resistant areas, see what time it does something at 5 o'clock, see what time it does something at 6 o'clock see what time the news comes on for that pair and what time it does what at the news. So that's the only thing you do when you're studying a pair. So it's not like really saying, well, since you're studying USD, JPY, you just got to wait all day just for this one pair. No, this is what I love about the strategy. Mark up, mark up a couple, wait for them to do what they do, and you still can study 
that pair. So for example, if you look over to the side, I'm gonna do all the GBP NZD pairs and <clears throat> Euro, right, and USD, but my baby is US 30. That doesn't mean that it's, it's not my quote unquote, the pair I love to trade and I'm just gonna wait all day. I have all these other ones that I like too. So don't don't take it too like don't get get too deep with it. So I think that's what it was. You was just waiting on that other pair. So that's what I would do this week. I wouldn't um I would focus on maybe like mark up like five charts, three to five charts. Mark those up. Whichever one makes your move, hop in and still just study uh UJ. How does that sound? Are you there? Are you there? Yes, I'm here. I just forgot I was on mute. Oh. Uh, what I was gonna do is just get to know each trait, like each pair, bit by bit. You know, instead of just focused on one. You know, it's kind of like life. These are these pairs are people. I can't be like, oh well, I can't talk to you. I can't meet you. I gotta focus on this one person. I'm going to learn each of these pairs bit by bit because I'm thinking about the long term. Like USDJY isn't my favorite yet, but if I watch it long enough, I, I know when to trade it and when not to, I guess. Sorry, I'm at work right now. Let me step outside. All right. Um... Okay, Ray, did you have any other questions? No, 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 no. You didn't ask me. Did you can you hear me? Hello? Can you can you hear me? Yes, Ray, we can hear you. Okay, I'm sorry. I was I was at work and you know didn't want y'all to hear that. But uh yeah. What I was planning on doing just keep doing research and whatnot. I don't think I'm gonna make the the USD JPY my favorite pair. I'm just gonna keep looking around and hope that favorite pair come to me. All right, Ray, do, do what work best for you, man. All right. All right. Anybody else want to share anything, anything uh, going live or just any questions about trading? Well, I just went live before we went on today and uh, been looking at it, playing with some stuff. You know, it, it's one thing, and this is just I want to encourage this this way. Because we're all, you know, people are at different levels. People have different things that they're looking at, different strategies. You know, you get to the academy. But the thing is this, you know, it's like walking. You don't run until you learn how to walk. So you got to take it in the steps of learn to walk, learn to run, learn when you want to walk, learn when you want to run. Because once you get the system down as far as how you motivate yourself, you can, uh, you know, come through it a lot better like i said i just i just went live tonight while we, while we were sitting here and uh i'm kind of watching what i'm doing but a lot of times um even when i was in in the metaphor metatrader for you know you have good days you have bad days I, I i remember a couple of weeks ago i was watching and i was messing with some some gold and it it knocked me out the box but it didn't set me down you know, I just learned that you have to just, you can't win them all. And so you have to motivate yourself to understand that in the process, it's a learning process. You learn to walk, you learn to run. And then once you know you have two things that you can do, you can motivate yourself how you see fit. Because if you want to get there quick, you run. If you want to get there, when you get there, you walk. You know, so like I said, I just went live tonight and I'm, I'm having fun with it. I set aside some funds for that. I'm gonna see how that do, but you know, my goal is really the 2020. Uh, December pretty much is speaking for itself, but my goal is 2020. So I just want to encourage my young brother. You're always out there helping people, man. You know, you're gonna be all right. Let's go! Let's go! Let's drop some two two twos in the chat bar for the community support. Some four four fours for that community support. That's what we do here in G12. Thank you so much, David, for those kind words of wisdom, man. Like, so much power. Hey, Isis. 
Yes, peace and love. <laughs> Trina, hello, hello, everyone. So I just wanted to add to that motivation that just was dropped on us. Um, first and foremost, I am so happy and grateful now that I have the skill to be a master trader. Everybody needs to start saying that before you get on your chart. And you're just boosting up your confidence. Um, and also, don't forget that we have these products out there that we can go revisit. Never take for granted the academy and go live so what i did this week was went back to go live went on some christopher Derek videos and just really um had that with the harmonic scanner and i had my first all blue week Woo! Oh, <laughs> celebrate that <laughs> i'm super excited on my live account so i just wanted to sing her Oh no, her vibration high. It's definitely a process. You get into it, get into it, and you got to speak that thing and believe that thing and walk it on out. Yeah. So we don't do it. We losing you, Trina. Her vibration was high, y'all. Trina, you there? I'm back. I'm, yeah, we back. We back. Yeah, I just wanted to encourage everybody, though. You know, just stay motivated, stay focused, and never underestimate your self-development and taking that time, as Isis said, just to develop yourself. And, you know, every day just document what you're doing that's working. And don't focus on what's not working, but learn from what's not working. And just adjust and keep it pushing. Yes, 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 yes. That's Chairman Trina. Chairman <laughs> Trina. Let's go. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's go. go. All right. I love it. I love it, squad. I love it. I love it. I love it. That was just so powerful, you guys. So much encouragement. We're always bigging each other up. We're always looking out for each other. This is why I love you guys so wow i hope you guys wrote some of those nuggets down like i got that recorded on my cell phone because that was so powerful and the people need to know that so um anybody else want to share because like we on a roll right now <laughs> about the trading or anything going live yeah um well since i've been live uh you know, like I say, just staying, staying engaged with the troop, um, with the uh, group, excuse me. Uh, <laughs> I, I have no idea of price trapping or, you know, even marking up charts or anything like that. I uh, usually pledge my allegiance to the um, harmonic scanner, but I can say that um, using the scanner, you know, it's, it's definitely taught me not to, uh, how, Oren, how Oren Wright would say, marry the pairs you know because sometimes it'll work for you but then other times it won't but uh you know i i'm a you know i'm a learn and all but you know just that i have learned that little fact about myself you know just from the weeks of train you know trading i'll say for about a good solid month to get to where i'm at right now uh i just use the tools you know that i'm you know that i'm granted uh i'm still in the i am center you know, so I'm, so I'm slowly but surely learning about marking up charts and, you know, price trapping, even though I don't know anything about that right now. But I have learned to um, not always uh, be so dependent on the pairs that you trade because things could, you know, it could go either way with the markets. You know, it has no feelings. So just always keep that in mind, too. Oh, wow. You guys are giving it to us tonight. Y'all drop, y'all drop a 33 in the chat bar. Ooh, y'all coming with the grill today, y'all. Let's go be the product of the product. That's what I'm talking about. This man is making money from the harmonic scanner. He just told you he don't even know how to mark up a chart and he's taking $20 into $200 live. Did y'all hear what he just said? He don't know how to mark up a chart yet. 
right? But he's still making money. He's still not letting that stop him make money. And the thing is, when he learns how to mark up the chart, he's going to be bananas on the charts. So definitely, man, I wish you the best, you know, continuing success, you know, um, in learning this. I'm so happy and grateful right now that I re did reach back and uh, pull you, uh, you know, more into the vortex of success because I know it's going to kindle your growth. So thank you so much for sharing. Uh, anybody else uh, want to share anything about them going live trading? Uh, thank you. I greatly appreciate you. Amazing, amazing. <clears throat> All right, you guys. Well, if nobody has anything, you definitely could put it in the chat bar. Kind of want to just be able to uh, go over um, a couple of charts with you guys so we can have some things to look over tonight, tomorrow. Um, you know, Mondays we don't trade together, but we do analyze the, the pairs that we all looked at today. And then Tuesday, we hop on the phone in the new day, in the morning, if you want to call it, uh, to trade. So let's look at this, you guys. And if you don't know our strategy, don't worry. You're going to uh, oh, uh, enter and overstand it soon. So you know that um, um, you have the top and you have the bottom right? You have your ceiling and you have your floor. So we already know that we're waiting for it to break, retest, and trade. If you look right here where my arrow is, everybody see I'm pulling my arrow, you can see that the candles has broke it. Let me uh, blow it up a little bit more. The candles broke through the ceiling. Y'all see how it broke through the ceiling? It broke through it came down, oops, it came down right here in this area where I'm rubbing these red candles. It retest, boom, you could have got the market right here. You would have rolled it all the way up. 30 pips is about right there. You would have already made your money. And it, it went down a little bit. It only went down nine pips. Or you probably could have entered right here, depending on when you've seen this. Even if you would have entered here, because you always enter after the retest. So it goes 30 pips. Right? So we had, and then we're doing all this for the 15. So what I learned from Christopher Derrick is he enters on the 15 and he waits for the, the retest on the 15, but sometimes he also uses the 30. Right, so we got that break, that retest, and that trade. So I'm not sure who got in this trade. Um, this is something I mark, had marked up, but you see it broke, it retest, it traded. And if you would have trailed your stock, if you would have trailed it, you could have had a potential so far 47 pips. It's powerful. So um, I'm going to wait to the next candle before I mark this up. So let me see, let me see. This one we're still waiting on. I'll probably drop this one in the group. I'm going to uh, check the chat bar in just a second. This one, I'm probably just going to shift a little bit. It broke. It retail. Oh, you see it? It broke. It pulled all the way back. Depending on when you entered, you would have already made your 30 pips plus. This is like 59 pips. This is the uh, Zanzibar dollar. So this already made his move. So I'm gonna just adjust this. All right, I'm gonna drop some of these in a group, you guys. And then if if anybody has one they wanna mark up, um, I can take that request to give me one second. This one seems like it's uh it's getting ready. I don't know what it's doing quite. It did def it did like it broke through. I would definitely keep my eyes on GBP Chef. A uh, quick question. Sure. So the uh, so the concept ceiling and floor. So um, where you draw the lines at are they touching? I guess the the uh, the candle wicks. Is that is that what I'm seeing? That's and then we just and then we put the bar and then we put another bar above it or 
Yeah, in the essence, like what you're really identifying is support and resistance levels. So yes, if I wanted to be able to come up here and I want to place, I'll place the horizontal line probably like on the body and the other one, I'll capture some wicks. So yes, you can kind of do a body for wick. But what I want us to all also know is we don't also have to take it too cerebral, like, well, dang, is this the right area? It's kind of about, about it's kind of like how you perceive it. And the best way to know if it is a strong area is by confirming how strong it has hit that, that level of support or resistance. Okay, I see. Gotcha. Amazing. So, yeah, this is stuff I had already marked up, I think, on Friday, but I hadn't missed some of it. So look at this, another perfect example. Oh my gosh, so clean with it. Look at this, like straight clean with it. It broke through. Ooh, y'all see how sexy this is? Look at it. It broke through. It pulled back, AKA retest, traded. Mm, clean cut, y'all. Look how many pips that is. Said 22 pips is still working. Does everybody get it? We so we mark this up and we'll mark up one for you as well. Any somebody give me a um a markup. Who wants to mark up um uh, I mean like um, want me to mark up a pair real quick? G U. All right, let's do G U. I think I had G U up there, but we'll read let me see. All right, yeah, let's redo this. I'm gonna follow along with you on um, the scanner. Okay, I'm gonna delete this. So the first thing we do is we look what market is now. How do we know what market is? It's the, always the, the the candle that's the closest that's forming. So you can see this candle is forming very vast, like it's so small. It's a doji. Cause it's all only uh already two minutes into the candle, and this baby hasn't even really made a body. So, but this is where we are right here. So what I do is I kind of look back to my left, and I see. Let me see. Hold on. Let me see if this is where I want to put this before I explain. I'm gonna put this at the highest level right here. Cause this is where it kind of struggled at before in the past. It's like the highest point. It seems like. Let me see. Yeah, that's all time high. Yeah. Ooh, it's all time high. So yeah. So um, I'm picking this area because I want to see if price is going to tap this area. It hasn't been this high. And how you can check it out is one second. So I put it like right here on this body. I put it right here on this body. I took another one. <clears throat> kind of line it up. It don't have to be perfect. I took a rec I took a rectangle box right here. It's normally a paintbrush, but when you click on this little arrow on my left hand side, you go to a rectangle. You don't put your cement on because you don't want no rain to get on you. You can keep the color however you want to keep it. All right. So let's before I put the before I put our floor on Let's go to a higher time frame. That's how you can see how that area, what's been happening in that area by going to a higher time frame. When you're going to these different time frames, you're basically <clears throat> measuring the move from smaller per, uh, per, uh, perceptions, right? You're just looking at them different views. So we go back four hours. We don't even got to go back back, but the market hasn't really been this high, like. It's like we're all the way in uh, July. I'm in July right now. If you look down to the bottom, <clears throat> that gray box that says the 18th July, the 18th of July, 2019. I still have. I still don't see the candles up here. Whoa! One time it was, and this is back in May, the third May a uh, third. Now look at this. This is what I want y'all to pay attention to. Look when it came to this area. What happened when it came to this? to our area that I just marked up in the past. What happened here? It broke through. It broke through a little bit, but what happened after that? Rejection. 
rejection. It got rejected. So, yes, it, it did a little cute, like, boop, but then it got shut right on back down. So let's keep going in the past. Let's keep going in the past. Let's see. Y'all see how it struggles? Look at this once again. You see how it hit it and went back down? <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay, now let's go back in the past. Now you see all in this area, all right. This is the past. Remember, Forex is not really a bunch of hoo-ha numbers. It's about patterns, right? Look at this. Look at all in this area, how price broke through. It came down. It tapped it. It couldn't break through. It went through. It finally went down. It came back up. It's just struggling around here. It's very indecisive around here. Either it's touching it and resisting it, or it's breaking through a little bit and getting stuck. Like, like, look right in this area. It's literally stuck. Stuck right here. It's just dancing. It's dancing on this line. So that lets me know that, okay, this is a strong level that I need to pay. Oh, man, I deleted. That I need to pay attention to. Okay? So let's go back to the hour. Let's go back present moment. Did that make a little sense? A lot of more, a little bit more sense. Yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, I got it a little bit. Yep. Yeah, and the more you uh, watch the Clifford Derrick and um, get in tune, it definitely will make more sense. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my line back up there. It kind of messed up. So basically, what that means is now that I got my ceiling up here, I know that before I get in this market, this this gotta break through because it keeps struggling. It, it just keeps doing it. So to prove it, to prove it to me, I needed to break through, retest back here, and then I'll be getting ready to get in the trade once I see that green candle for me. Now let's put that floor on there. Put my floor on. I go back. I get a horizontal line, and there's a whole video in the academy that teaches you how to use uh, trading you. So now I'm gonna put let me put this down over here. For me, this is the area I see where price has tapped it. And we're going to go back in the past, and we're going to fact check. We're going to see. <laughs> Let me just look in the past real quick. I want to – it don't got to be perfect, y'all. And you also say it's, it's typically good to use a higher time frame to mark so so that when you look back, uh, you'll see how it looks on the lesser time frame? No, you always mark up on the hour. You always mark up on the um, hour. And then if you want to, because like if you, if I wanted to scroll back on the, in the, on the, um, into the past on the hour chart, I'm going to have to keep scrolling back, scrolling back, because every candle represents the hour. But if I put it on a four hour, it's like putting the whole view in a smaller screen without me keep doing like this. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I, I got you now. <laughs> yeah, so so I'm like, okay, well, let me go back four hours so I can see it clearer just to see how this area was respected. So now we're looking at this area down here, the second area I drew. Let's go back in the past and see what the market has done, how the market affects at these areas. This is what we mean by support and resistance, right? So when you hear us say ceiling, is AKA resistance. That's the terminology Forex terms, is resistance, right? We're, we're calling it the ceiling to make it most uh, so relatable. Now, look at this area, right? Let's go back. Let's do a time cap. Ooh, there's a lot going on over here. All right, hold on. All right, let's just start right here. This would be a good point. Now, if you guys look, follow, y'all see my cursor? Follow my cursor. The market mm -hmm. went up. It's green, it's green. Boom, it tried to go through. It couldn't go through. Look at it. It got knocked down. It went down, it got knocked down. It went up, I mean, it got knocked down. It went up, okay, it finally broke through. Travel, 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 travel. Okay, came right back down to this area. It broke through. So we're looking for a couple things. 
when the when the when it's when it's when it's struggling to break through, we know that's a strong area. When we see that also it passes through, we know that it can be broken, right? We're looking for that. So look, it broke through. And we're, we're going, we're going. It was able to break through again. We come back down. Now it got stuck, right? Look, it broke through a little bit, but it couldn't go all the way back down. It got stuck. So it's traveling, it's traveling, it's traveling. It came back down again. It broke a little bit, but it went back up again. It broke back through. So needless to say, what I'm trying to say to you guys is look at how this area is being respected. Either the market is passing through, it's consolidating there, or it's resisting there, right? Boom, it got knocked down. It broke through. It's struggling around here. So it lets me know that, okay, I did put that. I feel, I feel confident in the area where I put my, um, my resistant line at. Now, it's going to take a couple times for you to watch the support and resistant video. Uh, to fully grasp what, you know, more and more what support and resistance means. But literally, that's what it really is. It's the areas where the market has resisted or has been a, a support to the to the candles. Anybody have any other pair before we... Oh, Chad's calls on. Matter of fact, my bad. Um, you guys, I'm going to drop these charts in the uh, chat bar. Let's definitely hop on Chad's call because he's about to drop the nuggets. Um... Anybody, anybody have any questions, just drop it in the comment bar and let's hop on Chaz's call, you guys. Peace and love. Thank you. Welcome. Yep, thank you. Thank you. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love.